Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can manage your custom content via multiple drives with the Smart Content Manager. This new feature with Character Creator 4 allows you to manage your content across local drives with the added benefit of being able to share it with multiple devices over network drives, both features that increase convenience and provide more efficient local disk storage. We also have a tutorial with a slightly different workflow that deals exclusively with template content. Icon and Character Creator both share a template tab, which contains all of the default content and the content you purchase from the Content Store or Marketplace, and the Custom tab, which contains all of your customized and imported content. If you have subfolder content in your Custom tab, you can hit Show Subfolder Items here to show them. Since we don't have any custom content saved yet though, nothing will show up for now. With CC4, we can now simply drag and drop items from our Explore window directly into the Content Manager, so let's give that a shot. You can see I have a whole folder structure of content prepared here, although nothing in particular organized according to clothing type. I'm just going to select it all, and click and drag it into the All folder of our Custom tab. Even though we didn't have our assets organized according to type, the new Content Manager is able to automatically sort most asset files into the appropriate subfolder. However, some categories which only contain a .cc cloth file suffix will be placed into the other subcategory. From there, you can simply click and drag them into the correct ones. Now that we have items in our custom folder structure, we can show subfolder items, which will get rid of the folders and only show the items. Another tip is when you're moving custom assets, you can consider cutting and pasting the content in order to avoid duplicates and save disk space. Just right click on the destination folder and select Find File to lead you to the right directory to paste into. Next, we can load up the project to check it. Let's take a look at how to work with multiple drives next. If you want to have more than one custom location path, you can do so through the settings. Once there, you can see our default custom directory path in the D drive. You can add in another custom drive path by using the plus button at the right. I'll paste another directory path in here that I already have prepared. You can see in this case it's on my C drive. Now I can choose this new directory structure from the drop down menu in my content manager. You'll see that currently there is nothing here since we haven't saved anything to this new path yet. However, if we go into Explorer via Find File, you'll see that the default custom directory structure is there. However, there's no files yet. Let's repeat the previous process by making sure we're in the All Parent directory and clicking and dragging in a bunch of custom content. Please note that with custom, content does not have the ability to search across multiple drives for assets, unlike template content which can. Following the same workflow, you can also set up a network disk for work groups as well. Here you can see a brief overview of the network drive we want to use. Again, let's go into Settings and use the same process as before by hitting the plus key, and then pasting in our new network disk path. The one caveat with using a network drive for custom content is that the system will recommend that you uncheck the Update with File Explorer option in order to prevent conflict with multiple workstations. In this case, we'll keep it checked since we're only updating one machine. Now when you switch to your custom shared network folder, it will sync automatically, and you'll see the content appear. If you decide to disable the auto-update, you can also use the refresh command to manually update it at any time. The ability to utilize a network disk is a huge improvement that allows you to not only share data more easily with other workstations in your group, but it also saves a bunch on disk space management. In order to take advantage of a workgroup license, all workstations will need to be on the same Reillusion account. You can learn more about workgroups from our page listed in the description. That's it for this video guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.